disturbing story we woke up to earlier today, which has to do with the killing of a 32-year-old man and a native of Daboya in the North Gonja district of the Savannah region, um, Abdullah Mustafa, uh, who has been allegedly shot and killed by police in the area, specifically Daboya. The deceased is said to have uh, allegedly stabbed a police inspector and a community police with a knife. Uh, information we've also gathered indicate that um, the deceased alleged to be mentally unstable was chasing his mother-in-law, sorry, was chasing his mother in the house, threatening to kill her. A complainant uh, called the police and lodged a complaint at the Daboya police station by some passers-by. Four unarmed police officers were dispatched to the deceased's house to arrest him, but upon arrival, the deceased, who is alleged to be behaving strangely, ignored questions from the police and walked into his room. He allegedly emerged with a cutlass and knife and started pursuing the officers until one of them, uh, Tidoro Mohammed, fell to the ground and was allegedly stabbed by the um, deceased. The remaining three police officers called for reinforcement and a team of police were immediately dispatched to the area who, and then uh, we are told that they shot and killed him. That's according to what the residents there are saying. The victim was immediately rushed to the Tamale Teaching Hospital and um, the cops, we are told, is currently deposited at the Tamale Teaching Hospital Mortuary Morgue. Meanwhile, the Savannah Regional Police Command, DCOP, Enoch Educhum Bediaku, has denied the information and he has joined us on the line to give us an update on what exactly happened from his perspective, what he heard and what uh, he was told uh, as against what the community people are saying. Uh, good afternoon, sir, and thank you for joining us. Good afternoon. Your men, we, we are told one of them was attacked by this, um, by the deceased. Can you confirm that, and what's the condition of the police officer? Well, uh, he's responding to treatment. He's okay. But this is the fact of the case. Mm -hmm. That yesterday, 30th November, 2019, about 12.50 hours, police Daboya received an information that one mentally challenged person called Mustafa Abdullahi was attacking the mother one hour in their house. The station officer and inspector Two NCOs and Mohammed Tigru, who is a CPA personnel, mm. proceeded to the house. On reaching the house, they heard the woman screaming for help in the room. Okay, DCOP, I think this yes. background, DCOP, if you, can, if you would indulge me, this background we've been able to establish that he was behaving, quote-unquote, abnormally, and then the police was called in to try and calm the situation, and he attacked yeah. one of them, for which you sent a reinforcement. What we want to yeah. establish now is the man is dead, and we are hearing from residents there that he was shot. Can you confirm whether or not he died from the gunshot wounds? Or did no, your men fire please. any gun? No, please. He did not die out of gunshot. So what, what, killed, uh, what, what killed him then? Yeah, what happened is, after he had stabbed the CPA guy and injured the inspector, the inspector and the CPA personnel were rushed to the, the Boya government hospital by some good citizens. As the police were at the hospital receiving treatment, they had information that Mustafa was attacking other people. And therefore, a mob attacked Mustafa and lit him. After that, they deposited the body at the forecourt of the police station. And uh, uh, what, what, so, around what time of the day did this happen? Come on again, please. Around, around what time of the day did this happen? The whole event started around 12.50 hours. In the afternoon? The whole event started, but the police went there in the afternoon at 12.50 hours. Okay. So when the, so your, the information you got is that the people attacked him and, you know, killed him and the, left his body 
in the premises or the forecourt of the police station. Is that it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And at the moment, at the, at the time when the body was being dumped at the forecourt of the police station, were some of your officers at post? So did they see? Yes, some were at post. So did they, uh, the did, they make it, did they make any arrests of the people who dumped the body there? But we have problems with our next so, At that time, it is up. Okay. What are you saying here? I am asking whether when your offi the officers who were in the police station, did they see that a body was being dumped in front of the police station and have they yes, made any they, arrests? Yes, they, they, no, because their attention were on their uh, personnel who had been stabbed and the station of life itself was at the hospital. He wasn't at the police station. And it was a mob. So detecting arrest wasn't possible. Okay. So what's the way forward now? How are you, how are you investigating this? Now, now we are looking at how our personnel will get uh, treatment. Come then we have put up investigations to know uh, who and who were part of the mission. So All right. Carry on with that. And what has the mother of the deceased told you? Have you been able now, to speak to... Uh huh. When we were there, I was saying that the woman was in a screaming for help. Okay. And all these scenarios had happened. Okay. You see? And with our boy at the family to get what to do, he was in a, in, a, in a bad situation. So our attention now is getting them treated, then we see the way for it. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for giving us uh, your side of the story, uh, which has to uh, do with the death of a 32-year-old man who was um, alleged to have been mentally unstable, was attacking his mother, and then also um, when some police officers went there to try and resolve the kind of scuffle that was ensuing in the house, one of them was attacked by this man. We are told he was stabbed. The police officer was stabbed, responding to treatment. But... Whereas the citizens are saying that, the residents are saying that a 32-year-old mentally challenged man was shot by the police. The, you just had the DCOP, uh, the, who is the Savannah Regional Police Commander, saying that he was not shot, but rather was attacked by residents, um, by a mob, and killed and his body thrown in front of the police station. We'll keep an eye on this particular story and keep you posted in our subsequent bulletins. 